So we all know who Brian Williams is. He's America's number one newsman. If you don't know that, it's because you probably only see him in between doing late night comedy sketches and his improv class. But yes, he's a newsman in America, number one. And let's remember the biggest story of the last decade was the Iraq war. And during the Iraq war, Brian Williams worked for NBC, which was owned by General Electric, which turns out is a huge defense contractor. Now, my question to Brian Williams is, how many checks do you take from a defense contractor in the middle of an illegal war before you stop calling yourself a journalist? The answer, endless. Even worse, Brian Williams brought on generals on his show to give us the straight dope about what was happening in Iraq so we could make an informed decision as an electorate. Turns out those generals he was bringing on his news show were bought and paid for by defense contractors. That's right, they wanted more war and more money spent on the war. Brian Williams never told us that, and the guy who did tell us that won a Pulitzer Prize for it in the New York Times. Even after that, Brian Williams still didn't tell us. So, let's recap. The number one news story from the last decade, the Iraq War, not only did Brian Williams, our number one newsman, fall down on the job, but he actively misinformed us for money. Now, here's the new commercial they're running for Brian Williams. It's a thing that you build slowly over time. It can happen during big moments. More often it's the day-to-day -day things. And what you build if you work hard enough, if you respect it, is a powerful thing called trust. Exactly what can you trust about him? that he can read a teleprompter, or that he'll never say anything to piss off his corporate masters.